All right, guys, today we are going to be starting our adventure in the apocalypse. Who's ready to show these undead bozos what we got? Ooh, ooh, me. I am Donald. I have always wanted to be able to meet some of my relatives that have already passed. I wonder how my grandmother has been doing. Joe, at this point, we are more likely to see your childhood friends than we are to see your grandmother. Considering how old you are, your grandma is probably just a skeleton by this point. You guys are looking at this all wrong. The apocalypse is our opportunity to be the badasses that we always knew we were. Donald, you definitely would not be as much of a badass as you seem to think that you would be. You would easily end up being the first to die in the group. There's no question about that. That is what you think, Barack. But whenever that zombie apocalypse actually ends up happening, you are going to be so glad that I am there to help lead the group into a total repopulation of Earth, entirely in my own image. Donald, you can barely even manage to get your wife to want to sleep with you. How on earth are you planning on getting so many women to want to be around you that you can repopulate the whole Earth? Just you watch, Joe. I get so many bitches that it has actually gotten me in trouble a good few times. Women just want me so bad that they will ask me for my number even when their husbands are standing right behind them. Donald, that is Cap. I have seen you at parties and you get absolutely zero bitches. Wait, why are we in the back of a police car? Are they just arresting us because we are one of those poor kids? Because I hope that they know that we are just as capable as white kids are. Oh, for God's sake, Joe. Haven't you been roasted for that line enough already? Yeah, Joe. How about you just shut up already before you go putting us in a cringe compilation? Well, I reckon you didn't do it, Dan. We didn't do what, Mr. Officer Man? I don't even know why I am in here in the first place. We probably got in here for doing something awesome, Joe. I'm willing to bet that we slapped the queen across the face or something. Beyond the grave punishment. Why do you say that? Now that's something to be arrested well, I've for. a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Well, if we are in here for what I think that we are in here for, then fuck yes, I am taking all of the credit for that shit. That British bitch Every deserved time? it. Every time. Well, don't you worry, Mr. Officer Man. If I have done anything wrong, then I'm willing to do all of the naughty time out that I have to to make things right. Hell no, Joe. We are getting out of here at the first Follow opportunity. Case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. What the fuck is a making? I don't know, Joe. The guy editing this video is British, so there's no way that he is going to know what the fuck this guy's talking think? about. It's either a town in Georgia or a city in France. Law not order. Big mess of trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. Wait, what the hell did we do? Any of that seem important to you? All of them, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? This guy isn't very good at conversations. He asked you a question, dummy. You want to know how I see it? Why the hell would I give a shit how you see it, pig? Oh, shut up, Donald. Sure, officer, how do you see it? Sure. What was that? Are they gonna fuck now or something? Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. You see? It's just what I always tell you guys. Women just serve to drag a man down. Oh, shut up, Donald. This guy shouldn't be talking about our <sighs> wife like that. And you shouldn't be making those kinds of excuses for getting no bitches, Donald. Someone barbecuing right now? I swear You'll I can have smell to a roast. To stop worrying about things you can't control. Oh no, that really doesn't seem like a very good sign. Neither do you, Joe, yet here we are. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Right where we're sitting? You had better have some seriously good sanitation long, practices. He starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop, but that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Oh, man. It sounds like this guy was really upset. Do you guys think that we should go and see if he's all right? 
Joe, he is talking about a story that has already happened. Besides, there aren't any checkups for criminals. You might want to be careful saying stuff like that, Donald. You might find yourself in that group pretty soon. I think he actually believed in himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do Holy say Holy so. shit, it's a guy! Are we all right? You tell me, Joe. When was the last time that you got out of a car accident like that completely unscathed? We are probably missing not only a few teeth, but also a few of our vital organs. Well, it looks like we are still conscious at the very least. Maybe there is still a little bit of hope that we can still make it out of this. Wait, is that screaming that I hear? Oh no, I hope that Mr. Officer guy is all right. I would absolutely hate it if he were to get hurt at all. He is probably long dead already, Joe. Shut up for a second, though. We are waking up now. Oh, shit. Thirsty. What the ah. fuck? Who just blurts out that they're thirsty like that? Next, he's gonna casually say to himself that he needs to take a shit or something like it's an objective in a Bethesda game. Wait, was that Mr. Officer Man? Hey. Oh no, guys, I think he's hurt. Hey, officer, are you all right? I'm still cut back here. Something tells me that he is not going to be able to do a whole lot Officer? in terms of helping us out. Oh, I think he's good. got more than a few problems of his own right now. More than a couple of them being the fact that he is definitely fucking dead. Oh hell yeah, take this window. This is what you get for telling me that my PP was small, you bitch. Donald, it's a window. window. Not your ex-wife. Oh, I uh, yeah, I knew that. Donald, that you window. have some serious issues. My only issue right now is you, Barack. Now, how about you shut up about that dumbass window already? I think it's time that we go and show that pig what happens when he tries to arrest the Big D Trump. Donald, everyone had already stopped talking about the window. But don't you fucking dare go trying to hurt Mr. Officer Guy. It is not his fault that his job has us crossing paths. It is his fault for being a dirty cop, Joe. Now, how about you just help me put this guy down already? If we take him out while he's down, then we can slip away, no problem. Donald, with everything that you have got against your name right now, do you really want to go adding cop killer to the list? Well, all that shit against me doesn't mean absolutely fucking anything if every time that they try and charge me with any of them, the cop taking me in ends up in a ditch somewhere. Now, how about we get this guy's keys and get the hell out of here? Oh, no! Mr. Officer Guy doesn't seem like he has been having a very good day, if I am being completely honest. Oh, I dread to think about how his family is going to react to this. How his family is going to react? Joe, you would be far better off if you were worried about how I'm going to react if we don't get these fucking cuffs off. Oh, hell no! They dropped right in front of his mouth. There is no way that this asshole isn't going to bite us right as we <gasps> grab them. Well, that was kind of surprising. Why would that be surprising, Donald? Obviously, Mr. Officer Guy wouldn't do anything to hurt us. You need to have a little more faith in our police system. Maybe if you thought a little more highly of our... Ah! Oh my God, kill it, kill it. You see, Joe, I fucking told you that we couldn't trust this pig. Okay, Donald, okay, I agree with you. Please just don't let him hurt me. You dumbasses. He is obviously a fucking zombie. Let's just pop a cap in this fucker's head before he gets the chance to do anything. Now you're speaking my goddamn language, Barack. Where the hell is that shotgun? Donald, Donald, he's coming closer. I can fucking see that, Joe. Now how about you shut the hell up for once while I pop this pig in the head? Oh, shut the fuck up, Donald. Let me do this. You will probably just end up screwing it up. Did, did we get him? Oh, we definitely got him, Joe. I don't even think that a zombie is gonna be able to get up from that one. Well, we had better hope that is the case at least. The last thing that we need right now is for him to start coming at us again. Wait, do you guys see that? It looks like there is a little girl up there. Hi, little girl. Shit. Oh, crap, not again. Joe, do we He's need to call those special people that come and talk to you whenever you come into contact hey. with children? No, Donald, dead? I swear that it is nothing like that. I was just wondering if maybe Help. she could come and help us out with this Go whole dead someone. body situation. There's been a shooting! You're goddamn right that there has been a shooting. 
That might have honestly been some of my finest work ever. I'd like to see anyone find a trophy kill quite like that one. Wait, what's with all of those groaning noises? This sounds a hell of a lot like those websites that I like to go on. Uh, from time to time, that is. Joe, the less that I hear about the kind of websites that you like to visit, the better. Now, how about we get the fuck out of here before we have a lot more problems than two dudes going hog wild to work? Can this guy hurry the fuck up? I think that I have seen genuine paraplegics walk faster than this guy. Oh my god, there are so many. Go, go, go. Quickly, guys. We need to get the hell out of here. Yeah, Joe, I know. I have fucking eyes. Oh my god. Come on, guys. Keep crawling. There must be some kind of way to get out of here. Oh shit, look. There's a fence. Oh my God, we made it. Does this mean that they aren't going to follow us over the fence? It really doesn't look like that's the case, Joe. Let's just hope that they don't immediately go breaking the gate down at least. Breaking the gate down seems to be exactly what these assholes are doing. Now, are we just gonna sit there and wait or are we gonna get off our ass and start running? Well, look at that. Maybe we don't need to run after all. Whoever it was that fired those shots, I hope that the zombies are merciful to you. I'm surprised that there are already so many of them, to be honest. Weren't we in a completely normal highway only like 15 minutes ago? There's no way that those slow-ass bastards were able to completely Anybody? take over the world in the same amount of time that it takes me to drop a fat shit. The world sure is a strange place, Barack. I wonder if anybody's Maybe we can home. find a bunch of other survivors if that is the case. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Why not? You seem to be no walking ladder. just fine. Why can't you just climb the fucking tree? Anyway, if literal kindergartners can do it, then why the fuck can't you? Oh, come on, Donald. Comparing him to kindergartners isn't very fair at all. Have you seen those little bastards? Help! They are so nimble that it boggles my mind. Joe, the last thing that we want to be hearing is you oh, coping about not being able to keep kids locked down. What the fuck are we supposed to be doing at the moment anyway? I'm not sure, Barack. Let's just try and see what is over in the street. Home. Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Well, that answers our question now, doesn't it? Let's just rock up and see if there is anyone inside. Somebody. My hopes are on that there are a bunch no, of hot babes in the me. middle of a bikini dance. I wonder if anybody's home. That would be a pretty fucking awesome way to start a game. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Why is no one responding? Are we not being loud enough? They're probably dead, Joe. Hello? There's something going on. Oh, you think? It is almost like we just got out of a massive fucking zombie attack where we had to blast a cop's face off. Why is something being weird still even a question for you at all? Oh, screw this. We are getting inside this place already. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Oh no! I didn't even think about that! What if the people that live here are gonna hurt us? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Oh man! I really hope that whoever lives here doesn't end up coming around the corner and hitting us with a shovel or something. I would hate to be in such a weak and defenseless position. Joe, I swear to fucking God. If you end up turning the goddamn zombie apocalypse into a fucking kink thing, then I am going to absolutely fucking lose it with you. No, I swear, Barack, it was nothing like that. I was just, uh... LMAO, get fucking wrecked, you idiot. How could you not see that blood stain on the floor? I could have spotted that from a mile away. Wait, blood stain? Oh, no. Do you guys think that blood stain could have come from whoever it was that owns this house? Oh, I would absolutely hate it if anything bad ended up happening to them. Joe, it is just like I said. If there are as many zombies nearby as we saw a second ago, this then anyone living here is probably already dead. About anything the blood on the floor only really serves to prove me right on that one. Ooh, look, a walkie-talkie. I wonder if anyone has the other one of those. It would be really cool if we were able to find anyone else. By this point, I am starting to think that we are the only one left. Joe, the apocalypse literally only started like 20 minutes ago. There is no way that we are already the only human left. 
the highway was fully populated last time that we saw it. You never know, Donald, considering how quickly that we have seen it take over. We could already be the very last of our kind. Oh, what a lonely life that we will have to live now. I'm honestly not sure if we'll be able to manage it all. Joe, we are not the last fucking human left. We literally saw that little girl like five minutes ago. There is literally no way that she has suddenly gotten eaten without making a sound since then. Ooh, yeah, you're right, Barack. I had completely forgotten about that little girl. I wonder where she has gotten off to. Hopefully it is somewhere that is very far away from your old ass. Lord knows we don't need a repeat of last time that you started interacting with children. Hey, you promised that you wouldn't talk about that, Donald. Mm, Marshalls, that's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. So what? There's a babysitter somewhere around here? Well, considering the fact that we still haven't seen anyone yet, that babysitter definitely ended up as some undead bastard's lunch. You don't know that, though, Barack. Maybe they could just be going out for a walk or something. Joe, now you cannot seem to keep your story straight. Are we the only human left alive? Or is everyone absolutely fine and is just off screen doing the Macarena? You cannot have both at the same time. Shut up, guys. I want to hear these messages. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Oh, not the crazy homeless guys. Oh, I feel their pain. I used to deal with those kinds of people all of the time. Joe, you are those kinds of people. Oh my God, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Well, this is getting kind of depressing. I wonder when she's going to realize that she is fucked. 6.51 Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Is, is anyone else starting to tear up a little after that one? Daddy? Oh, hello. Huh? That got the little guy going. Joe, you are seriously fucking disgusting. Hello? You need to be quiet. Try and tell me what to do again, bitch. I dare you. I double dare you. Motherfucker, I triple dare you. Donald, calm the hell down. Let's just hear what they have to say. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Oh, were your parents the one on the answering machine? Because if that's the case, then I have some seriously bad news for you. They all died because you tried to tell me what to do. Do it again, and I'll make sure that any pets you have go down with them. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. She's eight? Guys, I think we need to find this girl. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Yeah, something tells me that those parents are never going to be coming back. I don't blame them. Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, it's a white woman. Holy fucking shit, will this bitch just get the fuck off of me? I don't want your stinky cooties. Oh my god, Mr. Lee man, watch out for the blood from her. Holy shit, kick her. Ah! Why was she so much closer than she looked? Oh Jesus fucking Christ, this bitch had better back off right goddamn now. Oh guys, look, it's the girl. Oh, I bet that she has come to save us. How the hell is she gonna save us, Joe? The most that she can do is give us that hammer that she was holding. That hammer is going to be all that I need to stomp this bitch into the dirt. Give me that shit, you little twerp. Oh my god, this is so tense. I can't watch. Can someone tell me when it's all over? There's no need for any of that, Joe. Check this out. 
Face my all-American justice, you ugly undead bitch. Holy crap, that was awesome. All right, I hate to admit it, but this is a pretty fucking cool game so far, Donald. You made a good call picking this one. Of course I did, Barack. I don't think that there is even Man. the slightest chance that I could have made a bad call. Every single oh, yeah. game that I have picked in my entire life has always been a total banger. Is, is it over? Can I open my eyes now? Did you kill No, it? Joe, it's still going on. There is blood and guts absolutely everywhere right now. You're going to want to keep those eyes covered. I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. Sucks to be you, Bozo. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. Joe, don't go getting any ideas. What should we do now? There's no chance that I'm getting stuck outside in the dark right now. We need to get ourselves the hell out of here right goddamn now. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Guys, can I open my eyes yet? No, Joe, keep them closed. There Let's is go. blood and guts all Stay over closed. my screen right now. I think that you would actually be traumatized if you opened your eyes at the moment. This is honestly one of the most violent things that I have ever seen. Isn't that right, Barack? Oh, shut up, Donald. The guy is already dumb enough on his own. I don't need you going and giving him even more reason to hide behind his own delusions. You can open your eyes now, Joe. The fight ended like two minutes ago. Wait, what? It did? Why didn't you guys tell me? I didn't tell you because the thought of you cowering in your boots while there is absolutely nothing happening is extremely funny to me. Man! I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Who the hell are these inbred-looking assholes? I don't know, Donald. But maybe it's a good idea to go and talk to them before calling them both assholes. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I'm actually about to give this bitch the Portal 2 Wheatley treatment right now. I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Yay! So it is time to go and meet some more friends now? Oh, I love making new friends. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. The chomp might just be the worst attempt at slang that I have ever heard. What are you doing? Trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. Oh, he is definitely another Joe type. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... A guy that just blew a cop's brains out and is now traveling with a child? Wait. Are we the bad guy? Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. That too, I guess. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Well, you had better make your mind up quick, you little twerp. Oh, if you haven't coming. noticed, the dead are trying to eat us nowadays. It looks like they are trying to eat us right the fuck now, Donald. Let's just get this car out of the way already. I'm already fucking doing that, Barack. Now how about you hop off my back and shut the hell up while the actual superstar of this channel does the work? Hey! I am just as much a superstar as you are, Donald. Don't you go trying to take this away from me. Superstar or not, I couldn't care less. I'm just glad that we got that car out of the way. Now let's get the ever-living fuck out of here. Oh man, the zombies are right behind us. Go, go, go. And he fucking crashes into it anyway. I'd say your parents owe you a tip. You're goddamn right that they do. If I am going to have to be dealing with this little snot-nosed runt, then I should at least be getting paid a couple million per minute for it. Donald, did you just forget that telling them that we were the babysitter was a lie? Besides, if the world has ended, then I don't think there is all that much we could do with money after that. That is complete and total bullshit, Barack. People love money. 
There is no way that people are going to stop wanting money just because of something silly like the world ending. Oh, wow. Are we going to live on a farm? Oh, I have always wanted to see what life would be like on a farm. I could be like a stereotypical cowgirl. Please never say that again. Hey, Sean, I'm going to run on home. My mom is going to be in a snitch. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Can't say the same about you, you inbred donkey-looking ass. Now that is a little mean of you to say, don't you think, Donald? Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Hell yeah, he did. And you can get all of your swooning over me done now if you want. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Ah, uh, oh my God, why would you show He's me that? doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Are we sure that it's a good idea to be letting this guy that we just met go fiddling around inside our leg? It's at least better than letting that inbred guy go fiddling around inside of the kid. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Well, can you fix me up, Mr. Nice Man, sir? It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? Why the fuck do you want my name so bad? My name is Humongous, bitch. Doesn't matter, right? Ha. Huh. Well, if you're gonna be here overnight, I'm gonna need it. Unless you'd rather hit the road. It's Lee. Well, Lee, just Lee, I take it. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel Green? Isn't that just a character from the show? How'd this happen? We got into this awesome car accident and we ended up shooting some pig in the fucking face. Car you should have been there. That's so. It was fucking awesome. Where are you headed before the car accident. Oh, uh, we were we were just going home, Mr. Nice Man, sir. Home. Where's home? I grew up in Macon. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about on the road. Who are you with, the girl? Guys, I think that he is on to us. Nobody. Is that so? Yeah, it is. You said we, that's all. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Yeah, that's right, asshole. Be careful with your fucking swearing. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Wait, am I gonna have to pick a side? Oh, man, I don't want to make someone unhappy. A couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. You can fucking try, asshole. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. That's right. Okay. Back That'd down. He didn't know that he was messing with There's the big D Trump. such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. Yeah, the guy editing this video still doesn't know and or doesn't care if Macon is a real place. If oh, it right is, here. then let us know in the comments. Oh, come on. Can he really not be bothered to just do a slightly more detailed Google search? What on earth do we pay him for? It smells like... Donald, we don't pay him anything, remember? He's one of your unpaid interns that you keep stringing along. I know what it's We should about. probably tell him that you are just mm -hmm. using him for free labor at some point. 
Joe, if you tell him that, then I will nuke you from orbit. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. I think that is what you call an El Bozo moment. Donald, do you really think that it is a good idea to be making fun of someone for losing their parents? What if someone watching this has had to deal with that themselves, and now you are just indirectly insulting them? Joe, I swear to God, if you go making me think about my actions one more time, then I am going to absolutely fucking lose it with you. How about you two just stop bickering already? Look, our guy is getting to sleep now. Let's just chill out for a second. Uh-uh. Hey. Get up. Damn, did you really have to wake me up from my sleep? Sleepy Joe hey, needs me some you. milk and a good old sleep. Well, you slept Glad in these folks didn't try to do anything Lucky funny to us while sleeping. In your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We this is a lovely going, place and a lovely we won't family. Hear the end of it. And yeah, don't call me dad. My she ain't even my Ken daughter Jr. just yet. We call him Duck, though. And don't you get any ideas, Sleepy Joe? Way to duck? Dodging, Dodging or, quack. or quacking. One way to quacking. find the hell out. Dad. Oh, yeah, he's a quacker, all right. See? Maybe I should start calling Sleepy Joe Mr. Quack, too. Kind of love the, the sound is, of that. You were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Oh, hell yeah, definitely. I'll be the man of that job. Those zombies weren't a problem for me at all. Sure, we'll we didn't get bitten or know nothing. All good. Then, honey, Shut duck, the hell up, Sleepy Lee. Joe, before and, uh, I end up baiting you the next name? time a horde of zombies Clementine. come around. Clementine. We better hope we're safe that here. Is a very Build a wall name. just to be sure. Thanks. Clementine is so cute, well, we and this family to is too. We've all seen what those Kenny and her wife must there, be so blessed. I wish me and Michael, I mean Michelle, were like this too. I hope I do get it someday. Well, I want to build a damn wall. Stop with those dumb ideas, duck kid. I take a Fences water are for kids. Walls tractor? are for the greatest men alive, cool. and you won't get that Definitely dream, Barack. You're both men. What the heck? Shut the fuck up, Donald. I hope you I and your family an wouldn't an become a family bit, friendly and have a healthy relationship with them. Choke on a donut or something. Shut the fuck up, Barack. The only thing you can be choking on here is your damn vocabulary. The more and more time we spend together with Joe, a nice time. the more time we'll we become dumb and dumber. Yeah. How about you both shut up and watch hey me Riz girls. Kenny's wife instead? Clementine could be Riz too. I mean talk to, too, since she might be bored waiting good. around this porch. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. Be careful so with your words, Joe. Good? We might get canceled because of oh, you. And that was awkward. So like Lee can't hold a damn conversation. He's like a junior trying to riz up seniors. He has a lot that he can learn from me. Let's make more small talks here and there. How did you Gather the information the we can and get to know how they can ended up here. Drove. One of them might we be bitten so for all I know. people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. That was such a horrible experience. Want to go back to the I can't imagine the making those decisions by myself, even if I am the president. But I'd still choose family over those strangers. Anybody no time to be world. kind in this world. Families, yeah, what the fuck? We have to launch a nuke friends. that kills all the zombies, all but would also things. let humans live. If we those can do that, the then we can have barbecues right? back, especially McFlurries and McChicken oh. Filet. What's up with you and McDonald's? I know you like it because it's your name, you but it's doing? not yours. Corpses aren't walking around. Anyways, let's I'm find out more. She's a veterinarian, bro. Like her Joe, here, except you could learn a thing or two from her. and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. We all hope so, but with these situations, I don't think we'll be going back to the new normal. No, no. more McDonald's, I the worst to. thing that could ever happen. Let go a and you better back. say goodbye to those animals, bad. Mrs. Kenny. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. That was one heck of a conversation. Never uh, knew I could learn so much just by conversing with other people aside like from that? the two of you. Lee, you I really need to start talking more because I'm such yeah, an introvert. Okay. What the fuck do you mean an introvert, Joe? You just don't have any friends aside from us. Now it time to explore like the world, area. Dude. Seems like Clementine can handle herself. Like Lee is such a worrywart. Yeah, and it's not even his own biological hey daughter. There, uh, 
Spread okay. kindness around the world, Lee. You are a good man. But first, we gotta know what the hell is the plan here. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. That Only sounds like a logical plan, but I don't think the United States government will be able to do boat, anything about that since their You've president right now is very irresponsible. I'm a commercial fisherman. He's Catching even mackerel, playing the walking dolphin, dead telltale. Whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Hey, stop talking shit about me, Donald, like Maybe I am not know. here. And it's not my fault no, this game is kind of good. I'll just call the government later, you give the zombies a head start. What do you mean, give the zombies I mean, a head start, Joe? Care of that little girl. You're messed up, but you know yeah, you're doing? we have you no idea how to take own? care of her, Kenny. Especially Barack. He doesn't have a shit clue about parenting. He can't even make his own kids. I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. Shut the fuck up, Donald. I don't got time to waste on you, Good, especially in the zombie apocalypse. Got a sister How about you, Kenny? We were coming back you seem visiting. like a dope father. We a How are you and your kid doing? You guys boy. good? Seems like they were all right, but someone really tried to kidnap him. Poor seconds. kid. Kenny is such a beast. He had those dad strength on the loose. We saw Betty beat the shit out of him. We stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See ya. It's not the Looks most like we got ourselves a strong world, family with us. Gets a job, they sure man. are reliable after hearing that story. Shit, and look at this Paul's pickup right. truck. This could use a little bit of upgrade. Might turn it into a sports car, even. He was a little too honest about his own opinion towards his own truck. Never sugarcoats a word. That's what I usually like from other people. Just pure facts. That makes it easier to communicate. I agree. I wish that there are more Kenny in the world. Best character by far for me, if I can just remember correctly. Anyways, where the hell do we go now? Who were the people here again? I can't believe that you fucking forgot already. Duck Kid and his older brother is here in the backyard, fixing up the fence, I think. We should really make it into a wall. That would be a hundred times safer. Shut up with your walls, bro. And hey, Ducky Kid, this kid sounds like he's from a cartoon show. I forgot who the hell it was. Oh, wait, it's Donald Duck. Donald's favorite character of all time. Ha! Good one, Joe. But can you please stop waving back and forth with that kid? Let's just talk to the big duck Sean's over here. And no fence. more walls, Donald. I'll try not Sean's to talk about the best thing fence. in the world. Just try and stop me if I end up doing it. And hey, hey Sean, let me help you build this wall. I mean, mm -hmm. this fence. Fuck it. That'd be great. Just go with if a wall cut already. Those two guys to length, I already told sure you to stop with up. the walls, and we just have to cut this wood plank up. Very easy to do. No problem at all. Even Sleepy Joe can do this easy peasy. Right, Joe? Oh, is. shit. Things have gotten worse, I think. I mean, this is really bad. I was just I ordering ice creams and pineapples to mix with a my boy. food combo, Barack. Right and by face. any chance, was that kid a zombie? Please say he was, because if not, then that There's would be pretty board, fucking damn walkers? messed up. I don't even oh, know. shit, that is so sad. The, guy the world is truly help. a dangerous place. We got to stick together and help each other out. Put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes and pull the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Who cares if I shot one or didn't eventually we have to pull the fucking trigger. It's killed or be goddamn Sometimes. killed. Wake the hell it's up, cute. Sean. You be want cute. your families to be safe, right? So you better wake up. After that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. Whoa, my family? How's your family? Uh, who is he asking me, the President of the United States or the superficial human Lee inside this game? Uh, I don't really know who I am anymore and I forgot who my families are. Well, of course, Sean's referring to goddamn Lee so Joe. Good. How the hell can you get this done? How about you just focus in that's cutting those planks up so now. we can hurry Thanks. and build this gigantic wall I have in mind? Too bad, Donald, it was the last plank he needs for now. Sean, you really have to stop and give up ride. with your damn walls. And yeah, no thanks for the ride, bro. If you it weren't for you, I'd be a goner. Anyway. Yeah, super duper dad, thanks. Did you say your years. father? Yeah, I think I just saw him go inside the barn. As you say, Sean, we gotta help around here somehow, as much as we possibly can. How are these things to drive? Awesome! Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... Hey, stop dissing Sleepy Joe's home pickup trucks back in the days. Tractors were such a huge plus to people, bro. But this really feels like GTA side quests or some shit. I don't like helping other people.
Stop complaining, Donald. You and your fat tummy could use some calorie loss right now by helping his father around. And they really have a nice looking house and tree, not the kind that you see here every day. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. Whoa, what the hell are you talking about, General Herschel? Name, you you think it. you can intimidate me? No I didn't good. do such a thing. Maybe my friends have, but definitely not me. He is way too tense, unnecessary tensed. And we were on our way out, Herschel. No I need to worry about how the hell we got out. The important thing is, me and Clementine is alive and well. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Well, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Ha! How about you ago, shut the hell up, Herschel? This, I, I don't like your you guts anyways. I don't need Never to hear from you. I'm just here because like Sean this. asked me to help you, old Cart. You and Joe so could probably I. get along. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Chill out, Donald. Maybe he's just a chill guy with a way with words in his mouth. No wife. And yeah, I have no wife anymore. She's up in it's been a long time since we left each Sorry other's comfort. It. Yeah, it's because he has a husband now, ha ha. Michael Clementine is his name is if you are curious. You Anyways, who cares about them? Me and Clementine against the world, no problemo. Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Yeah, sure, Mr. Herschel. I wouldn't mind hearing a few wise words coming out of your mouth, because sure. I am a fellow I Ice Age survivor. You, you did, don't have to hide anything from you me. better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Don't so worry, because I have been lying to everyone ever since did. I was born. Keep it to I think I'll have no problem at all. Well, at I mean, have the common sense I have to managed to, to live my life to the advice. fullest because I am honest. Ah! Who the hell is that screaming? Oh, wait, I think that's I'll Sean. Shit, shit, shit. We gotta hurry, something's wrong. Okay, shit, guys. We might be in deep trouble. Zombies might be here. Fuck. Holy fuck, you were right, Joe. Zombies really are here. What the fuck happened? Oh, shit. His leg is stuck inside the tractor. What the hell did you do, Duck? Holy shit, we gotta hurry up and help the kid. Shit, hurry the fuck up and get those zombies out of our little ducky buck. Shit, 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 hurry, kids first. Sean might be able to get out of there somehow. Hurry, Kenny help me save Buck. Biden punched the shit out of that zombie, get the hell out of here. That was only 1% of my capabilities. We got Buck out now. Hurry up and save Sean. Holy shit, Lee just ran out of there. Don't worry, Sean, we got you. Now, fuck, fuck, fuck. He got bitten by the zombies. God damn it, I didn't expect to lose someone this time. What the hell is up with this game's timing? Poor Clementine had to witness the whole damn thing. She's traumatized for life now. Even his father had to see it too. Fuck, this is such a bad way to go. They even helped us, but now he's gone. Buck really did something dumb. I think he ran over Sean's leg or something, but why was the key there? This is such bullshit right now. I literally thought we could save them both. He's mad. I mean, I would be if I were in his place, but I couldn't bear and imagine what those feelings would feel. Shit. We are so sorry, Mr. Herschel. We just had a talk inside your barn. Now your son's gone. Hey, don't try and put the blame on me. I thought we could save them both. What the fuck do you mean by that? I arrived faster than you did. So shut the hell up. But condolence pops. I thought I could help them both. You thought wrong. And now, please, just go. Get out and never come back. I feel so bad leaving like this. He just lost his son, bro. Fucking zombies be really out here cooking the heck out of us. I wonder what will happen now. Oh, we leave just like that. They just looked at each other. They are all speechless. Poor souls, especially Sean's. We are so sorry, bro. We'll want. try and save you in our next lives. I'm sorry we have to leave this way before your father kills us. Come on, Clementine. Let's hop on a ride with them, Kennys. Glad Buck was still alive, though. But I wonder what would have happened if we went after Sean first. If we would have went after Sean, then it would either be Buck dead and Sean alive, or he'd be up and running, and then we'd be able to save the both of them. But it's too late for that now.
We even arrived at the place. We just well, dipped from Herschel's house. What a way to say goodbye. Welcome to the new town, I guess. I hope there's less zombies than the one we had at the farm. Wait, be careful, guys. Be damn vigilant at all times. We don't even know if this place is safe. We have to be careful or we'll end up like Sean. I don't want that happening to my precious healthy body. I don't think you know what a healthy body looks like, bro. You should definitely look at Conor McGregor's physique or something. Get that right inside your head. Hey there. I'm way healthier than him, and I know I can kill Trump's Joe as a zombie gas. easy peasy. He'd be the first ever zombie to eat ice creams Fuck. instead of human flesh. And shit, we gotta get out of here. Ha ha, that would actually be super duper damn true. But shit, we gotta get out of here. Be careful, everyone. Watch out behind your backs. Get the hell away from Buck. Someone helped us. Hurry, shit, shit, get out. Who the hell was that chick? She got aim and then bullets was used good too. She a baddie too. I might want to riz her all the way up, seeing how capable she really is in this apocalypse. Yeah, like hell, you'd still have a family after Melania sees this shit Donald. What's gonna happen to us now? Like oh shit, there's a whole lot of other people either. over here. When Another group of survivors, maybe. No matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse. What the they fuck is wrong with us. you people? Where the hell is we have damn head? kids and you grown ass people there. are afraid of us. What the hell? Us. You I on something? You better get yourselves right or I'll bite and blast you myself. What oh, they are really testing my temper all right. Blast and now's me. a bad time, Clementine. I just go to the toilet if you need to. I'll handle them myself. Run. This then people are go. such a bitch. You want to tussle with my muscles, douchebags? You're right to be cautious, all right, but we don't look hostile, do we? Do you think we could have made it this far? We don't even have guns to protect ourselves. Think about this rationale. Stop being a bitch. I just ran out there. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. You better not touch Kenny's kid. Here's my Donald Ducky, bro. So get yeah, the hell away wasn't. from him before I bite we you instead, Mother Trucker. Now. He's not even bitten. That body. chick saved her before we'll that zombie could bite. Hole. That's right, bro. Get the I'm hell away from us. You want to no fight? I can take you on instead. Kenny can whoop your ass big time. You don't want that happening to you. Get away from us. Shut up. We gotta throw him out. Or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! What do we do about this guy? As much as I want to Dad, heap things up and get this shit over with, we have to try and reason with them. I think they're also just another family trying to protect one another. We reason. Family comes first, bro. Try and talk it out. Maybe nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. You are dumb, Barack. You should have sided with our boy, Kenny. We're we don't have to, to listen to this selfish bastard. We can just beat him the fuck the out. Me and Kenny he's can bitten. handle him just fine. Don't threaten little duck. I bitten. told you, big boy, he's, he's not bitten. He's just dirty for now him. like me. Shut the fuck up I'm and sit down him. or else that's it. You don't want a taste of my bite and smack with 10% output, mother trucker. I warn you. You're gonna whoop me? You in one homo parade. This one. That's good. Little boy. Before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. Oh, hell no. Yours would be damn broken. Two versus one would be Me? easy peasy with Kenny, yeah. my boy. We There's gotta so pull up on your there. ass. It's Chill the locked. fuck down or you're gonna be knocked out with my fists. Probably. Chill out, all of you. I don't even think hey, this is I'm right. He has a family, too. You can't blame him for being the man of the house. You gotta do all that it takes to protect your children. Kill if necessary. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. He's then, just a little kid, bro. Dead, Shut the fuck up with your mom shit. On your little girl. The only thing sinking here She'll would be my shaft fast. to your mom. Then, and I wonder what Clementine three. is up to then now. We deal with it she then. said someone but was right there. Now we're just Wait, what? I didn't even notice. Is someone really there? Because that boy shit, is we have a more pressing matter to deal with. And how many times do we have to tell you? He is not bitten. Want me to bite you instead? Okay, that is it, shithead. Knock him the fuck Not out, Kenny. Guy. Give him that nasty punch. Oh shit, haha, -ha. you threw oh, such Jesus. a weak punch, Kenny. Are you a wimp like Joe? Fuck, what was that? Clementine, be careful. Ah! Holy shit, crap shit, fuck. A zombie, hurry the hell up and help Clementine leave. That's why we should have just had ice cream for everyone to cool the fuck off. We could have killed him already. Why is everyone here such a wimp? What the fuck? He just fell and almost got knocked out. 
Kenny just got knocked too. Shit, at least this zombie is the next one in line. Take this brain dead fucker. Okay, shit, I thought we were gonna die. Boy, was I pressing the Q button as much as I can. I kind of panicked, but I don't panic because I am the greatest and humblest human alive. Thank you, lady. You save our lives again. We will never forget that. Clementine, don't ever leave our sides again. That was way too goddamn scary. But wait, don't zombies hear the gunshots? Fuck! We attracted all of the zombies outside with that single bullet. We needed to. If not, then Clementine would have also turned by now. Stay low and quiet. Shh! We're gonna get in. Shut up. They're goddamn everywhere, shit. We are fucked. We gotta keep quiet and get the hell out of here. I don't want my Trump legacy going out the freaking window. Be careful, me. That was stupid. That was. Oh no, Mr. Big Nose is finally coming to an end. Is it a heart attack or something? I think not. He might be goddamn bitten by a zombie. His turning, Kenny. What's wrong with Hurry the freak up and end him. It's his heart. My pills. Nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there, behind the counter where the pills are. Oh, I am so glad that he was not bitten, which was unlikely but possible. Seems like there's someone else other than Joe who needs some medications. We might need to help him. I really don't want to, but my United States President Hart is telling me to help the citizens in need. Plus, there might be some ice cream in there. Ice cream's over nitrogen pills. I knew everything is always about ice cream with you, Joe. And it's nitroglycerin pills, Joe, not nitrogen. And I agree with Kenny. We have to look for supplies while we can. we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Holy shit, that sounds like a too good to be true plan, bro. Do you know your you way know your around way here around? or something? Local? You a tour guide of this raised. town before? If you're gonna you do better that, be careful or you'll get your ass bite. Get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. Everything is finally fitting together. Keep a good I knew we had our ups and downs, Lily and your father, Larry, nice. but we need to help That's each right. other somehow. And you. And help each other survive. I hope we get out of here safely. Doug, yeah, and it. prioritize ice and cream's got that. Okay, Carly. You'll Fuck shift gas in and medications go for any ice for cream now, products you can rest. find. Make that would shots. feed me and my Biden like blast power. We can use it when we decide to escape out of here. Shut the fuck up with you and your ice creams, Joe. Clearly we need a wall. This is just proof of how important a damn wall is. Before we can do that, we have to find supplies for now to live that long and build that wall. You two are both fucked up in your brains. Why don't you reset yourself and get your priorities straight? Got that. Anyways, we might find something good in this place, so keep searching. Like this energy bar? Dibs. No one lay a hand on my energy bar. I might need it to upgrade myself later on. Keep myself awake, you know. But you know, let's try and talk to them. They might have seen me get it. We gotta make sure. I don't think they saw you get it, Joe. I was just doing what I had to. You might have been way too slick Everyone. with your moves. You I gotta watch to myself around you. In front of my and yeah, I totally agree. We just shit, had bad right? start, that's it's all. It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Hey, you and your dad deserved it. If I had known that we'd be working together after all those tension we had What's earlier, wrong? then we wouldn't have He's done that. Besides, you threatened us first. You deserve that shit. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Well, yeah, no shit. It wasn't that noticeable because he was up and banging earlier. If he didn't waste any energy earlier, then this wouldn't have happened. Be careful, old man. You better watch what you say to us, Larry, or you'll really regret it. With that tone of yours, I might even consider hiding your medications. I thought you and Joe could get along well. Sure he's a good Let's just go with this he even is. if we don't mean it. He just has his issues. And yeah, I agree. You also don't get to tell him his old Joe because you literally mom? survived the Big Bang and lived with the dinosaurs, Savannah, you fossil. I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. Yeah, yeah. poor Clementine. I, think I am so glad we managed to get by that house and got to meet her. Oh. She's such a pure soul, but she really should be more careful. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have uh, you. Actually, you are a good girl, Lily. I'll share one-eight of my ice cream I if we ever find some cause. You really are such a kind-hearted yeah, person. 
Even if you were a bitch no, earlier. Just mechanical. Oh, wait, they have some stuff. cool jobs too, Ideally, Joe. Why don't you join them and let me do your presidential Sometimes duties for you? Unlucky. Leave it all to the greatest you? Donald in the I world. Up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. That actually sounds pretty reassuring, but we can't be so Are sure okay? about that. Stay vigilant if you don't want yeah. those zombies coming out and everywhere when we least expect Did it. Do you know anybody here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. we actually know some people here. Oh no, we, the owners. I wonder where they I'm are now. We I actually want to talk to them the and office. hire them as my personal Dad shop managers just because I'm biased with dead. Lee. Oh shit, I think they're gone gone Donald. Larry found a couple dead bodies and they might be one of them. Oh no, poor souls. I wanted to meet them since Lee knows them. Turning them into more, more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to it. That was a good pep talk with her. Agreed. Even if we started off with the wrong foot, we still have to help each other. Strength in numbers, as they say. Sure? Now let's yeah. explore some more. I don't think we stress. really have to give that to Thanks. her, but the Riz Master yeah. feels the need really to. Sweet. Too bad, Sleepy Joe. Sure. You lost your energy bar, but I gained another female Rizzed. Oh, hell no. She didn't even think of it that way. We should have keeping it for ourselves. We all know you only rizzed the girls from the mental hospitals. Since you can just easily manipulate them, you sicko. How about you shut the fuck up before I launch another nuke, but this time coming towards your damn house. And what do we have here? Oh no, these are the owner couple Lee talked about earlier. Shit, I really wanted to meet them too. Life takes the prettiest flowers, I guess. I can't think about I bet they were old, but sweet as candy, bro. Poor people. We are now forced again to move on with our lives. That actually almost made me cry. Someone must be cutting carrots over here because it is making me tear the fuck up. And what do we have here in this room? Let me know if you find ice creams. Luckily, what the fuck is wrong with you? Here. Carrots don't make you cry. Onions does you dumbo. Looks like we all know who doesn't go to the kitchen that much. But of course, Barack does cause he makes Michael sandwiches every day. Shut the fuck up before I shove this sandwiches up your damn mouths. And look, this is the old couple Mr. Lee was talking about earlier. Such a beautiful family. I wonder where the other survivors in this picture now. Oh shit, no. Find he just ripped a piece of it off and this is our family, bro. Fuck, what the fuck? We own this place. Those were our damn parents. Shit, I didn't even realize that. Nah, nothing. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. Shit, what a plot I twist, bro. To that I didn't even know that, or I just forgot, Moa. <laughs> and this Frankly, bitch knows too much. Shut the fuck up about my personal life, or I'll be forced to make you silent. You were, she is digging way too place? deep right now. I don't like where this is going. Can we have some privacy over some sensitive topics? What's it to Clementine you? is here, too. To like, me? what the hell is it I'm to not you? I'm the one with the felony record. You seem like an okay guy. And the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. She because is way over her head. In a few days, and you're this is why we don't group, like reporters. Then we'd have a problem. They just like know everything. They're like the FBI, myself. but working for the public. I swear they'd be spilling too many teas. Yeah, please do keep it for yourself, Mrs. Reporter. It won't even do you any good to spill those don't informations worry. out. And besides, I have some reasons. You don't need to know all about that. This changes everything. This is so heart-wrenching. We just lost our parents, bro. Who the fuck wants that to happen to anyone? Not even to my worst enemies. We can't do shit about that. This is actually making me tear up. But what did you just say, Barack? Your heart can fix cars? Heart-wrenching? I didn't know you had such a talent. Oh, shut the fuck up, Joe. I don't even want to bother explaining that to you. I'll leave it to our viewers to correct you after we upload this shit. Just help me explore this room and be quiet. Yeah, that just made me angry. I was on the verge of crying, but being dumb actually pays off. Ha ha. But wait, there's What's a, that? I think a cane. This was his father's. This was my dad's oh. cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. 
So your dad's a smart like that. Don't worry, Lee. If you learned from me, you'd have no problems of becoming a good dad or stepdad. Perhaps for Clementine. She knows you're a great guy, too, so no worries. Stop trying to make everything of this game about you, Donald. Just help me explore here, and maybe we can find something good to help us later on in this game. This barricaded door might have something good behind here. Like guns or weaponry, maybe? And yeah, sure, Clementine, just be careful. This is not an easy job for kids like you. Don't worry, Clementine, you are not the only one who thinks that way. Thinks about uh -huh. scary, huh? Day and day, I yeah. wonder why Joe is crazy and how the hell he does it's that. that. Good. We all have I shit to worry about. Just let them be crazy. crazy, not our problem. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Oh, no. I am sure he does, Clementine. Too bad you have us now, huh? We'll try to be a good father figure for you. The three of us can be your dad. Do you have kids? We'll save you every time you get into trouble. No. Don't ask that question, Clementine. Have a family? Barack would be sad because uh, he got some genitalia problems with his partner, thus not allowing them to have any babies. So we technically don't have kids. What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing. Things like that. We got to parent up, Lee. Like, um, social we can't studies? take those job comments yeah, just like, like that. that. We have to show her that being a teacher you proves to be a good question. father. I just hope that All nothing right, bad happened to the both of them. He'll be just fine. I know deep inside we are all worried about Lee, but just put your trust in him. He'll figure it out. Why don't you and, uh, want to talk oh, about your family? I think she's walking on like thin ice you? again. These characters really got to stop with these sensitive topics. Clementine really be trying to put us on the damn spot over here. Oh, wait, there's no timer this time. That kind of seems reassuring, but uneasy at the same time. We'll go with the middle one just to be safe. It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I don't blame Clementine, bro. She's just a kid, and she's in the right age to be curious about stuff. We got into some big trouble, but trust me, Mr. Lee and I will keep you safe always, kid. This used to be their store, but let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Okay, looks like we have enough talking for now. Glad to see that Clementine is showing somewhat interest Ow! in Mr. Lee as his father figure. Oh, Are you okay? Shit. She hit I her hurt finger. my finger. It's freaking it's bleeding. bleeding. Holy Hello. shit, uh, what the hell do we do during this times? Do we uh, call mom? I'll find you oh, back. wait, she's dead. Uh-uh. Maybe call the ambulance and get it amputated. I don't freaking know shit. What the fuck are you on about Joe? It's just some minor bleeding, although a lot of blood did come out, but nothing like a good old bandage can fix. We don't need an ambulance for not specially getting it amputated, dumbass. We got the bandage from that first aid kit box. Let's get to here and get it patched up so she can use it well again. Let's have a Nothing like a good bandage would fix. Snap that shit off to stop the bleeding. Let's Isn't that what you're supposed to do, especially when it is bleeding that damn bad? Or am I just wrong again? Or did I just forgot Moeha? I don't freaking know yes, what please. school you got into before Harvard dickhead, but they sure taught you the wrong fucking medical shit you need to know to survive. They better get fired for that. Chill out, boys. Let's make this a family-friendly game Me? and session. That yeah. will benefit each and what every one of us, you fuckers. I there. mean brothers. And stop with the what-ifs, Clementine. They're They'll like find us, Clementine, no worries. Don't I got worry. the whole Ninja Turtle posted yeah. up and ready okay. to contact them well, anytime now. Lookout. Let's just be patient here and wait and help each other survive. Way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Yeah, I don't think we'll be seeing them soon, Clementine. We have no choice but to lie for now, kid. You'll understand when you grow up, especially if Everyone you survive the whole right ice age like me. Yeah, well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, because that is what Can heroes do, do Clementine. More? I am your hero, go although I did kind of tripped over I mean, and fell and almost passed the, the freak out ones. while trying to save you, but it was all good. good. That was kind of unexpected, but don't worry, Clem. We'll do everything for you, and we'll always protect you. And have you heard from Glenn yet? Hope she found me some ice cream. It's okay. How about your Thanks fingers? Thanks for fixing it. I think that is all there is to it right now. That was a nice little conversation from the soon-to-be okay. family. It kind of warms my heart to see them looking out for each other. Dad kept the now I'm hyped up and ready to smash some zombie heads.
Oh, we'll find them all right, and they better be careful because the Biden blast is all ready and good to go. For now, let's find some more valuable shit we can. Maybe it'll help us later on and progress. Hey, Joe, you got to stop trying and start the television. Obviously, we have no damn channel, and Tom and Jerry surely is not on it right now. No reception, no Wi-Fi. It's the apocalypse. What do you expect? Ice creams? Maybe in the television I can at least see a picture or an advertisement of ice creams? Vanilla flavored, please? That will surely make me feel full even in my dreams. It's locked. Yeah, yeah, shut up with your ice cream nonsense. How about you shut up already and help me find some more useful stuff so we can progress? But I don't really think there's more. Yeah, I agree. Luckily, I think we already wiped the whole place here. down. Time to go outside and talk to the other people and start a new rally to kick Sleepy Joe out of his presidential seat already. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh... Why are you asking me that? Oh no! Clementine him. is having doubts with us, bro. This is why reporters should be fired. To eat you? They don't know when and where to talk about it. No, Clementine. We are good people. We'll protect you, all right? Yeah, he was. And you had to protect yourself. That's right. Oh, okay. I don't even know if that is the truth, but the past doesn't matter, Clementine. Just trust me like how I trust you kids. I mean how I trust myself. Hey there. I won't let you this down, Glenn, I promise. And, uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? Oh, shit. I think this something is bad is happening. So I thought he knew the place. Fuck. I should have went instead. Well, he better uh, be alive, because we need him, stuck. especially the gas that he has. I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped out at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. Poor Glenn. I'm gonna hold Don't worry, bro. I will be one of the members of the group that will save your ass. Care. What do you Just think? Just be sure to pay me with vanilla flavor. We'll talk it out here. You get Hurry up, everyone, and gather around. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, Somebody's got to. Yeah. That sounds like a plan to me. Good. I'd be able to help Doesn't too if only I had a gun or two inside my pocket. Let me know as soon as you want to. Stop head dreaming, out. Donald, and we got to take a break. I need some ice creams. No shit, Sherlock. You were talking about it earlier. Goodbye. Let's continue later. Yeah, goodbye, boys. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, President Multiverse, or I will build a fucking wall around your house as well. Thanks. Donald, are you threatening people again? Shut up, or I will nuke you as well.